I was asked to comment on what it's like to win the Manufacturer of the Year. For anyone who saw me on the evening of the awards, <laughs> the raw emotion of winning something so valued and desired with your colleagues and friends is unbelievable. The buzz was huge and very much still lives on in myself and the rest of the team. And we often talk at conferences about how do we engage a workforce, how do we motivate them. And therefore sometimes for me, I think we miss the leaders. As leaders, you need a kick, you need a buzz, or how else are you going to go out there and lead with a smile and expect others to follow? And certainly winning this award has absolutely put a spring in my step, and probably as you can hear me talk, I'm still bursting with pride. With previous winners being household names such as McLaren last year, the team back at Accolade Park also are stood there still smiling with immense pride of being top of the pile. So the awards have provided us with that intrinsic motivation. They've given us passion, they've given us pride. But let's not duck the reality of being owned by private equity. Six months ago, Accolade Wines was bought by the Carlisle Group for $1 billion. They plan to sell our business in three to five years for double that value. An award like this, I believe, reaffirms their confidence to keep investing in our facility and in our operations. Even with all the uncertainty that's there in the UK economy at the moment, just last week, I had a further £3.8 million signed off to invest in further automation into our facility.